Good morning from the Grand Hotel. I'm Christy McDonald, and you are watching live coverage of the Mackinac Policy Conference. Our effort here at Detroit Public Television to keep voters engaged and involved and informed on all the issues that are affecting the state of Michigan. And joining me now here at the big desk before we get started with a, a couple of the sessions for the conference today is Rory Lafferty. He's the Director of Government Affairs for a Health Alliance Plan for HAP. So Hi, thanks so much for being with us, well, Rory. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Okay, so I just found out. This is your first Mackinac Policy Conference. It is. It All right, is. and so the 24 hours since you've been here, um, what what have you thought? It's an impressive, impressive event that they put on here. It really is. It's it's well attended. The uh, uh, the topics that they cover are relevant, and and, and and you know it's 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 a good event so far. And and I look forward to some of the other ones. I just left a, a Price Waterhouse uh, Cooper's uh, healthcare event, and that was that was uh, a good one too. So I'm looking forward to some more of them today. You know, I think the interesting thing is that you have so many topics that are covered and so you have CEOs of different kinds of companies you've got healthcare represented here hugely um, what kind of conversations are you hoping to have in the next two days oh well, actually you know it's, it's 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 all about the region right now so it's, it's not necessarily about any uh, industry or sector but what we, what we can do to improve the region and, and HAP is certainly committed to that and and look forward to having those same type of conversations with a lot of people that that are as committed as we are to, to the to the area you know I think it's really interesting that we're seeing so many businesses like like HAP and, and many others who are stepping up regionally and saying, look, we've got to be, a, we've got to have a vested interest in the turnaround of of Detroit and the turnaround of the area and of the state. Um, have you entered into a lot of those conversations about, look, what can we do here to, to partner up? We have, and, and, it, and it's, we're lucky now that we're starting to see some of the successes too. So that helps too when, when you're having these conversations and you have the goals to, to improve the area there. That uh, that you're actually starting to see some of this, some of the some of our efforts actually come to fruition. Let's talk a little bit about healthcare. And I'm sure that when you say what you do and what your position is, you get a barrage of questions from people saying, what's going to happen with yeah. the Affordable Care Act? And, and we're not really quite sure. How, how do you answer those questions? Well, and, and, and you're absolutely right. We're, we're, we're not sure at this point, uh, but we should know here soon. Um, the Supreme Court should make their decision uh, before they break uh, their further session there, which is generally before the 4th of July holiday. So uh, we should have some clarity uh, what that means that the Supreme Court, uh, the the different outcomes that could result from their decision there, there are almost there. There's so many of them right now, um, so it it really depends on what they decide what's going to happen next because it's not necessarily over at that point right. um you know it all hinges on the individual mandate. mandate if that's if that's found to be unconstitutional then they have to look and see what uh, what other parts of the law are unconstitutional as well um are they going to kick that back to a lower court are they just you know are they just going to call it uh, good with the individual mandate there and let the congress go back to work so uh, but we should have some more clarity here soon I think what's also interesting about the Affordable Care Act is that it's, it's so thick. There are so many pages, and um, people haven't quite gone through all of it, and that there are so many facets of it that have already kind of taken effect since yeah. 2010. There has, yeah, and, and whether people know it or not, there, there's been a lot that, that have taken effect already, you know, with, with some of the dependent coverage to age 26 there. Mm -hmm. uh, but the but the, the bulk of the, the, the law goes into effect in 2014 when people see the most significant changes. Uh, that's when employers may face some penalties for not offering affordable or comprehensive coverage there. Uh, that's where individuals may have uh, pay a penalty for not having a, a, a comprehensive health care coverage um, that's when the exchanges go into effect so we're you know we're about a year and a half away from the from it going to effect there's a lot of work to do uh, so the Supreme Court's uh, decision uh, weighing in on this is, is definitely going to be welcome there because uh, obviously Michigan has to decide if it wants to set up its own health care exchange mm -hmm. um, and legislation did not go anywhere everything mm -hmm. is everything is on hold um, uh, we did a series of community conversations with the Detroit Public Television and we went all around the state actually talking to people just educating Educating them about the Affordable Care Act, not debating it because it was yeah. law at that, you know, at that point, but really educating people. And I found it very interesting that people had heard so many things or they assumed things about it that weren't weren't quite true. And it's the education process of just actually knowing what's going to happen yeah. that is important. Yeah, there's a lot of misinformation going on out, out there right now. And, and one of the important things that, that we want to remember, too, is when the Supreme Court does weigh in on this is... Um, 
you know, insurance, you know, from our perspective, health insurance is something that's historically been regulated at the state level there. Um, you know, if we, the exchange, we're going to be required to have one if the Supreme Court finds it, the law to be right. a constitutional in its, in its whole. Um, we're going to be required to have an exchange, whether the federal government does it or the state does it. It certainly makes more sense to have the state, the state. to have some input on this, seeing how they're the ones that regulate uh, the insurance markets in Michigan here anyways. If you don't, then you run the risk of duplicative or redundant, unnecessary, conflicting regulation. Okay, in the minute that we have left here, uh, Rory, tell us a little bit about um, maybe some of HAP's projects coming up that we need to know about? Oh, uh, HAP, it's really exciting at HAP right now. I mean, obviously, uh, um, you know, we're in every every market, every product mm -hmm. there is right now with, with Medicare, Medicaid, uh, large group, small group, individual market. Uh, we're well positioned no matter what happens with the health care reform law because, we, you know, we, we offer uh, a whole myriad of products there. Um, we're looking forward to it. Uh, you know, right now we have about 600 and uh, almost 50,000 members, about 1,000 employees. Uh, we're real excited about uh, some of our, our new products out there, uh, mm -hmm. Personal Alliance there, the individual market product, which is really um, an important product, whether the health care reform law is found to be constitutional or not. Uh, one thing to remember is that the health care reform law, it, it didn't necessarily um, change it won't necessarily change the trajectory of mm -hmm. our market, but it may expedite it. And the individual market is going to be a huge market going forward there. And we think we're well positioned with some of our uh, personal alliance products out there. Okay, Rory. So uh, who are the couple people that you want to talk to now in the next 24 hours? Who are the, uh, the dream people you want to bump into here uh, at the Grand Hotel? Oh, well, I don't know if I want to <laughs> uh, single any of them out there because there's so many of them here. But, uh, you know, I'm looking forward, to, uh, obviously, in, in my in my business. It's, it's always fun to um, watch the, the what used to be with the Fab Four. Now it's the, the Fab Five. Five, there. five so, yeah, morning. So, yeah, so uh, uh, always look forward to those with, with, with the leaders from the counties there. So All right, sounds good. Rory Lafferty, the Director of Government Affairs for Health Alliance Plan. Thanks so much for joining Thank us you, this morning. Thanks for having me.